guys it's clan here and in this video i'm gonna show you how to install chrome os in your pc or laptop so i installed this chrome os in my old laptop which is the asus laptop but it has a pinchon processor and in my experience this laptop is become more usable now or become more useful now compared when it has a windows operating system since using windows operating system it makes my laptop little bit laggy and hassle to use since it has a low specs processor and since it's old that's why i recommend using this from os to your old devices so now i'm gonna show you what i did to install chrome os so first we will be downloading a linux os which is the soren you can also use linux mint ubuntu os but linux mint sometimes has problem with the compatibility of your uh, wi-fi that's why i recommend using this soren os because it's lighter compared to ubuntu and the ui is simply compared to Ubuntu so what we're going to do now is go to zoren.com and download this Zoren OS 16 core now I'm downloading the Zoren OS but actually I already have the Zoren OS ISO file so I will just cancel it and next thing we will do will be downloading the Rufus if you already know how to make this bootable you can escape this part since I will be also downloading the Rufus to make a bootable device. Now we have the Rufus and the ISO files. Before we make a bootable device, we will also download those files that we need. So next is, we will download the branch file. You should choose what is the latest. So as of now, the latest branch file is R93. So just open it and we're downloading the branch file. Next is we will be saving this command to run during our installation. So just name that install.sh file then we will save it in our desktop. Just right click and save. So we already have this file saved in our desktop we have now the soreno siso files rufus and the install.sh and lastly we will download the cross or the chrome os i will just be sharing with you the link below and now once you are here in this uh, page we will choose the Romos Ramos I mean so we will find the Ramos okay this is the Ramos since I will be using an ASUS my old ASUS laptop so I will be choosing the 93 which is the latest so as you can see the branch file and the uh, Chrome OS is now downloading while waiting to download those files now we will run the Rufus if you already know this part you can escape this and proceed to the next part so I will be showing you how I make bootable device with Rufus And as you can see, the device is named already Zorin OS since this is already a bootable device. But I will just be showing you how I made a bootable device with Zorin OS. So just go select and choose Zorin OS. Now just go to start. So I don't need to press the start since my device or my flash drive is already a Soren bootable device in your case 
click this start and wait until it's finished now we have the bottable Soren OS so the next thing we will do is to extract the branch file and the cross or the chrome OS that we downloaded so while still downloading we will make a folder in our files we will name it chrome OS then we will transfer this install.sh now we already downloaded this chrome os files so we will transfer it in our desktop so that you will see and we will extract the file and after extracting we will transfer this Chrome OS files in our folder that we created. Paste. Now we have two files here in this folder, which is the install.hh and the Chrome OS. Next is we will extract the branch file since we already downloaded it. We will now also extract it in the folder that we created which is the chrome os there are four files in this folder as you can see those files should be extracted in the folder that we created after we extracted all the files we will have six total files here and the next thing we will do is to rename this chromos os to ramos underscore recovery dot bin so it's already here we will just delete this this words and let the ramos underscore recovery dot bin and we will transfer it inside the soren bottable device this is what we're going to do will transfer it in this bottable device as you can see I already have in my folder this is the chrome os and now we will install it in our laptop so let's open our device and click F2 depends on your laptop and we will go to this USB disk partition 1 this is our bottable device boot menu and we will choose this file and click this try or install soren os once you are here just click ctrl c to cancel the checking in your device so there you go now we will click the try soren os because we will just running this file but we will not installing it in our hard drive or our SSD and now we are in the Soren OS we will go now to first we will connect the Wi-Fi connection since during the installation we will be downloading other files for the chrome os once you are connected in the internet go now to files and go to computer we will search the chrome os files that we made so we'll just search here chrome os so this is the files that we made once you are in the file inside the chrome os right click and click terminal and now type this command sudo sh install.sh and click enter so now it's downloading and processing the installation of the Chrome OS 
in our device so now that we are done we will type here yes to continue the installation this will delete those files inside my storage my hard drive or SSD and now we're almost done so that's it we will type reboot you can also reboot it manually in the menu button but I prefer to type command reboot this will turn off your computer and there you go patches are being applied and chrome os is starting and now it's time to set up your account in chrome os you should be connected and the internet this is very important you cannot proceed without accessing the internet so click next wins it will be connected and here click accept terms and condition and next you then sign in here and google privacy more accept So, agree, agree, and escape. Get started. There you go. We successfully installed the Chrome OS in our laptop. So, that's all for today, and I hope that you learned something in this video. If you are new in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell below. See you in my next video. Goodbye and God bless.